It's finally here, Christmas morning. Welcome to Holiday Delight. Good morning, Eon. Merry Christmas. Good morning, and Merry Christmas to you too. Christmas Day is a very special one in Guyana for a lot of families. Mm -hmm. What makes Christmas special for you? Um, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of things that are special about Christmas. When I had my kids, my, when I had my kids, they used to make it special for me. Mm -hmm. And then when I was a kid, my mom and dad used to make special for Christmas for me with toys and great food, of course. What do we have that is great this morning for our Christmas Day special? Well, we just thought we'll just give you something you can make a quick snack and add it. And if you wanted to, you can add it to your, your Christmas buffet table. And this is, we're going to butterfly, use butterfly prawns that we're going to cook in some cornmeal and salt. We have ingredients here, which is tomato, onions, mint, basil, which is marred man pork. We've got some lemon juice here with ruby pepper. And these cucumbers, we're going to toast off on the mm -hmm. stove. And I know it sounds weird, but it tastes amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, you toast them off with this in this virgin olive oil, and that will make a really big salsa to go along with, um, with the butterfly prawns. So Christmas being the time of unexpected guests, you've got to pay attention if you will be at home today, just in case you have some unexpected folks over. Yeah. Let's start first with the prawns. I'll show you how to peel them. This is very specific. Here. OK. Let's start with the prawns. I'll show you how to peel them. Basically what you do is you peel them, but leave the tail on. That's, that's what you want to do. Then we're going to butterfly them, which is you start with the tail, get in there, and you cut along the back, and you press in like this. Cut a little bit deeper. And what happens is that the prawn still keeps a lot of body, but it looks like twice as long, and it looks really cool when you uh, put it into the plate or on your platter. And, and basically you fry, you fry it always with the, with, the, with the tail up. Right, well we're gonna do, we've got like about five more to do in here and uh, then we're gonna get on with the frying. Cut the back. And look here, if you see any dark stuff, that's, that's so you, that should be removed, that vein should be removed. But not all of them have it because some of them are, are very young prawns. Right. It's basically the same process. I love prawns. Such a fun thing to eat with your family or by yourself if you want. There you go. Butterfly prawns. All I have here is simple cornmeal. This is white cornmeal, you can do with yellow cornmeal. In fact, that looks pretty cool as well. I'm gonna put some, add some salt. It's about a tablespoon of salt. All right, we mix it all together nicely. Add a little bit of black pepper, it just looks good for color. Voila, that's it, that's, it. that's that done already. Now that prawns are ready, and, uh, and the, the covering, or the batter, whatever, however you wanna call it, that's ready, we're gonna turn on the stove. I have a nice big pan here. You can cook this sort of stuff in any kind of pan. It's not a big deal. Um, right. So I'm gonna put my oil in here to heat up. Let's cover the whole surface. That's about a cup of oil. So let's bread up our prawns. Look at that, see? In fact, the best way to do is just throw them all in and shuffle it like this. Right? And then what you do is you mix them all up and you remove them one by one. Try to keep as much of it on the plate as possible. Right. See, I love Christmas morning, that anticipation of friends or family or presents. Lots of presents, if you're lucky. Sometimes a, a present is just your friend coming over and spending some time together with someone. That can be a special Christmas too, and you can make these. 
There we go. Our oil seems ready. So what I'm going to do is put these in, fair tail up, like that. Right, tail up. They make this nice oval shape. This is what I really like about it. Tail up. Tail up. Tail up. And what we're going to do, this is going to take about three minutes. That's why I got to get these in awfully quickly. You don't have to do this many at a time. You can do like five at a time and make sure you cook them completely. Then do another five. So you want to tail up. It doesn't matter if the tail falls back. It still look cool. Remember, people eat with their eyes, so. And a little, a little trick is when you put these things in, when, if you're doing this kind of amount, always do it like in the same direction because then you, you know which ones are first and which ones are second. You know, you, you, that way you can take them out accordingly because you don't really want to overcook prawns. But I just wanted to show you this whole process. And when you're doing this, don't go off and do something else, you know. Stay with it. You'll see how quickly these will brown and cook. Right. Beautiful. And that's a whole one for luck. Right, okay. It's time to turn our prawns. And this is why I think is the easiest way to do it really quickly. You see that nice golden color they all have? Right, and the ones that are stubborn, that, that way you can do those individually. Right. So basically we left these to cook on one side for three minutes and we're gonna cook the other side now for about three minutes. Right, if I can get all these turned, it'll be wonderful. There we go. There we go, everything has to be golden brown with pink tails. Lovely. Fantastic. Now those are quite a few fat juicy prawns. You put this out on the, ta on the table at Christmas, it's not gonna last very long. Now, three minutes is gone, so we take these, turn the heat off, move them to the side, and we're gonna take them out and drain them. And the way that you drain them is really, it's a trick. I'm sure you, a lot of people know about this. One piece of towel, one double piece of towel there, another one. You can do this with a, with, a, with a bath towel, you can do this, you know, like a new one, you know, but you can do it with like cloth and things like that, you know, as long as it's very clean, right? So, we're gonna get these out. Just drop it on there, and they'll, they'll drain. The reason why I'm going fast like this is because I like to get them out of the oil pretty much immediately, very quickly. You see how lovely, golden, and juicy those things are? Oh my gosh. Fabulous. But, right. Now we're going to make what is called a cooked salsa. The only thing that's actually really cooked in this is the cucumbers. And I'm not going to wait for this to get really hot. I want this, I've just turned it on and I'm putting these big cucumber bits in there. That's like medium dicing. All right, and this is about, it's just like a whole medium coconut that's in there. Let's put in our tomatoes first. While that's cooking, we're putting our tomatoes first. We 
put in a wee 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 wee. Onions. And at this point, when I put in the onions, I want to go straight in there with the lemon juice because it's going to start to cook those onions and give it a nice flavor. Black pepper and all the herbs. That's our thyme. That's our big, that's our broadleaf thyme. Basil, sorry, and um, our mint. Both the thyme and the basil, they were about, they were about a, half a, a half a tablespoon. Look at that mixer. And the mint was just a pinch, because it's quite strong, the mint, right? We want to mix that all together. That's basically our salsa without a cucumber. But let's get these babies right. See what they're doing is they're cooking slightly. You don't leave the flavor, it just concentrates the flavor. And soon as you see, before they turn translucent, that takes, as you can see, that takes at most about a minute and a half. They're ready to go in. Right. Now we mix that all together now. Get it really mixed up. And what we're going to do is after we mix this up, we're going to leave it for about five minutes. And then it kind of concentrates and it coagulates. So what you get is a really nice concentrated salsa flavor with concentrated cucumber flavor. And it goes wonderfully with prawns. It's time to plate up our salsa. Let's put a little bit in the middle like that. You don't need much, right? And you just get some prawns. You just lay it over there like that. One there, one there, I think. Portion six is good. Six is good, that looks opulent to me. Right. And I am going to try one myself. Right. That tastes really exotic. Because you get all the flavors from the mint and everything like that coming through from the herbs in the salsa with cornmeal that's so crunchy around the um, perfectly cooked prawns. So it's very soft and sweet on the inside. 